welcome back. The SIGD Ethiopian Jewish Festival is just around the corner. So today we have Rabbi Samuel Kohan from the Temple Emmanuel, along with Leah Avuno with the Weintraub Israel Center here with all of the details. Thank you both so much for joining us, Rabbi, for coming back. Pleasure always to be it. here. Thank you. So as always, Rabbi, we always take a moment to learn a little bit first. Let's talk about what is uh, the SIGD holiday. So I'm going to ask Leah to explain, but I want to say this is the first time that this wonderful Ethiopian Jewish festival has ever been celebrated here in oh. Tucson. So it's really kind of a world beginning, yeah. and I want Leah to sort of explain SIG. So um, <clears throat> SIG is the Ethiopian Jewish holiday the Jews in Ethiopia used to celebrate every year for a thousand of years, almost three three thousand years. Thousand years yeah. Yeah. Yes, um, and it's all about connecting with God, like reconnecting with God and with your friends and family. So um, during the day you fast and then everybody following uh, kind of the rabbi of the community uh, to the highest mountain in the village and everybody wear white clothes and you pray and then it's a big celebration in the village. So it's more like a social and with God uh, holiday. Yeah. So it's a way to get close to God and we're going to skip the fasting and go straight to the celebration. Yes, no fasting, no fasting. <laughs> we know how the rabbi does it. He always uh, comes with some food and tells us. So is, is all of this kind of showing how we're going to be celebrating at yes. the festival? So this is the finjal, the buna, the traditional coffee. Uh, the coffee was uh, uh, discovered in Ethiopia and this is uh, the injera it's made of from the teff flour so it's the traditional uh, bread you will find it everywhere and the food is actually from uh, Zimam's restaurant uh, in Tucson so it's all like vegetable and beans and really really healthy healthy food and um, but also delicious and there's some is spicy food. some is not really spicy yeah you should have a cup of water with you every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is the popcorn you always uh, serve it and this is the colo it's uh, some sort of snack you uh, eat while you're doing the Buna ceremony and the Buna ceremony is also a very very um, social thing you ask how was your day Rabbi you ask how was my day Leah and that's how it goes so yeah well this I, I, I like that you're bringing kind of a piece of what we'll be able to experience uh, at the celebration and this is really open to everyone right it, it's open to everyone there'll be Ethiopian music there'll be Ethiopian dancing uh, I won't do the dancing, but otherwise... <laughs> I will do the dancing. You will do the dancing, will do the okay. Dancing. Um, but it should be just, it's great opportunity to experience a really different and very beautiful Jewish culture, which goes back traditionally to the connection between King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, who comes down to Ethiopia, and that's where the Ethiopian Jewish community traces its heritage. So it's a really deep and a very beautiful culture, and kind of different from other Jewish cultures. So how did the, it come about that we wanted to do this first uh, festival together? It's Leah's fault completely. So it's my <laughs> fault. Um, I'm here in a program uh, that the Weintraub Israel Center yes. and the Jewish Federation brought to Tucson. It's called the Shin Shinim program. And um, we're two Israeli teens that just graduated from high school. We're here for a year to volunteer in the community. And, um, and then we're going back to Israel and uh, c continue in the army and uh, college and everything. So I thought, why not bring something uh, Israeli and Jewish and Ethiopian to the community? And they, thank, thank God, they liked it. Yeah. So we're going to do it. And yeah. It's very exciting because, you know, this is, uh, Jews have been exper exposed and even our community has been exposed to a lot of different Jewish cultures and music and even Moroccan culture, but this is not something that I think most people have seen, and it's really beautiful. The food is delicious, the music is gorgeous, and the dancing is uh, really quite spectacular. All about the shoulders. Oh, yeah. you'll have to uh, yeah. teach me a little, a little yeah. uh, of the dance. I will teach you. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and Rabbi, the, really, the temple really goes out of their way to kind of educate and to open up the doors a lot. It's a very high priority for yeah. us. We think outreach is about teaching, and the Jewish commitment to Torah is about education, and we're just delighted to have people come in. You don't have to be Jewish, just to learn about right. our culture. Um, we want it to be a warm and embracing community, and we are really thrilled to be able to bring something that hasn't been here before in our partnership, close partnership with the Weintraub Israel Center, yeah. and the opportunity for people to really enjoy something new and different, but also something meaningful with some real depth. Elliot, would you say that this is good for the whole family to come to? Yes, it's good for the whole family. You don't have to be Jewish. You don't have to be Ethiopian. You can be just a human being, and you can come and have fun. 
So well, I love this. It, we're gonna we're gonna learn a little bit about the culture. We're gonna have fun though while while we're there. Be able to have some great food. Uh, and Rabbi, tell everybody when this is gonna be happening at the temple. Right. It's November 29th. It's at Tuesday uh -huh. from 6 to 8 p.m. at Temple Emmanuel on Country Club Road, uh, just north of Broadway. And everybody's welcome. We'd love to have you. Come at six o'clock. Uh, you can eat, drink, have fun. I think this is a, a, such a great collaboration. Thank you so much for, for thinking this was such a great idea and letting us have, as the rabbi said, the first time ever in Tucson that we're going to be doing something Thank like this. Thank you for this. letting me do that and having me here. No, yeah. this, is, this is amazing. Rabbi, I'm going to re-wrap up all of the, the details about that. Great. But again, thank you so much for the temple for really opening your doors. It's always a pleasure. We love being here. We love having people come in and learn about Judaism and learn about all the really wonderful aspects of Jewish culture. Well, I think that's amazing. Again, thank you both so much for bringing and, as always, making a great spread for us. You guys, the SIGD Ethiopian Jewish Festival is Tuesday, November 29th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Temple Emmanuel. That's located at 225 North Country Club Road. For more details, call 327-4501 or go online to tetucson.org.